have to hustle and tackle on defense. You have to stop people from being able to throw the ball over the top. They have to find a way to get turnovers and allow Sam Bradford and that offense to have short fields. This is not the Eagles teams that will run up and down the field and be able to outscore teams. Mm -hmm. This defense is going to have to stand up and make some plays in order for this game to stay close. But bringing in Deshaun Jackson, Jordan Reed, Kirk Cousins playing at a high level is going to be a challenge for this team. So your best hope is to come out and have Malcolm Jenkins maybe make some plays. Kiko Alonso has to be much more physical than he was when he was trying to tackle Johnson on Sunday night. And if they can get these things done, then they have a chance. I think it's amazing that we're saying the Eagles have to do all these things just to have a chance to beat the Washington Redskins. Yeah, and here's what I, I don't get about Philadelphia. One week they come in and they make you a believer. They put up some points. They look cool on offense. They look stingy on defense. And then the next week, like against the Cardinals, they completely fall flat. Why haven't they been as consistent week in and week out? Well, I think the huge thing is inconsistency is chemistry. When you have so many moving parts, when you're bringing different guys in, losing star after star every year, also now having the injury bug bite them a little bit on both sides of the ball, you don't have people who get to practice together every day, or guys who get to go out each and every week. Oh,